Oh, there you are, YouTube. Okay, we're gonna do the advent calendars. I, I wonder do what's in there. Julia. She got a cupcake. You got different ones? What was yours? A, a little cup cupcake? <laughs> it would have been a uh -huh. tree. It would have been a tree. And what'd you get? A little squirrel. I need a cupcake. So, number 19. 19, oh, what do we got? One. Yeah. Ooh, is that an owl? Yeah. Hey, do you know what I like, think is in my eye? Trapped in paradise. Yay, you know finally. In my, I haven't seen that since what? I was a little kid. Do I've you never know seen what it. I think um, that's in my eyes. What's in your bad eyes? Bad guys and home alone. They're in your eyes? What? <laughs> <laughs> when I close my oh, eyes. Oh, like you, you imagine them? Yes, I Here, do you imagine them. Oh. You know So, Trapped in Paradise, I was very happy, very happy to watch this again. I hadn't seen it since I was a kid when it was playing on movie channels. I think I caught it a couple times on Cinemax, or probably Cinemax. I feel like we had Cinemax more than we ever had HBO. Uh, Cinemax when I was a kid. And it's like rated poorly. I didn't like grab the numbers before making this video of like it's Rotten Tomato scores and things like that, but I know they're very low. Um, but... I feel like, in a way, this is like maybe a hidden gem, an underrated, over-forgotten Christmas movie. I think it's nice. We have these three stars here, or at least I think them all to be. Um, so obviously Nicolas Cage is in the movie, and then John Lovitz, who I think is very funny. I don't think this is his funniest work, but he is very funny in this. Maybe he's in the movie too much. I think a lot of times when he's at his best is when he's almost more of a cameo, but he is good in this. Um, and then Dana Carvey, who's like on top of the world at this point. Like, this was right after he uh, left SNL. I think there were talks of him maybe taking over for Johnny Carson at one point, or is that right? I think, yeah, he was, you know, pe he was one of the names anyway, being tossed around or at least getting his own late night show. So I feel like things were probably pretty big for him, but then I'm, you know, I don't know, maybe this movie tanked everything. But as a kid, I always liked Dana Carvey in this and he just had some really unique accent that he was doing. He kind of reminds me of, I think his name is, uh, Ed Burns, is that his name, the actor? He's in The Holiday. Um, he's, he kind of has a, you know, tightens his eyes a little bit. And, uh, you know, he uh, kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know how to do it. But Dana Carvey, the way he talks on this, his mannerisms, he's like, I don't know, tight, takes his lips out and tights them a little bit and, you know, does this to his eyes and you know he just he was he doesn't really complete his sentences or anything like that um, and it takes him a long time to get <laughs> a like sentence out I remember this when when I was watching it today there was this moment like as soon as it came up and he started doing it I was like oh I remember this I remember loving this when I was a kid and he's at a dinner table with these people and he's there's gravy across the table for the Christmas dinner and he wants uh, you know the gravy to be passed to him and instead of saying could someone pass the gravy he does the uh, could uh, the um, could you would you mind passing the could you pass the gravy and it's like you're, you're sitting there waiting checking your watch waiting for him to ask this very simple question and all of his mannerisms facial expressions everything he's doing and just the length that it takes for him to say that is just hilarious um, so basically what the movie's about, bank robbers in this small town, they like live in New York, but they're in this small town here to rob a bank, and after they do so, they sort of get snowed into the town. It's very much like Groundhog Day in that sense. It doesn't have like any repetition in terms of, uh, you know, like living the same day over and over again, but being trapped in this cute little town, and then finding the better version of yourself in that town. So that's basically what happens. They meet all sorts of different people 
and that are very good to them, very kind to them. Uh, even some people who sort of suspect that maybe they were the robbers are still showing them so much grace and kindness and they basically learn to be better people and you know it all it all has a very nice bow at the end everything's just played out perfectly um to a fault i think you know it's very like predictable you know exactly what's going to happen uh, but it's an enjoyable fault for a christmas movie right you like to see these people change which is interesting because um nicholas cage this is his Christmas movie, but also the other movie that we watched of his, The Family Man, which is one of my wife's favorites, um, he's playing a similar character, somebody who is bad, you know, that sort of Ebenezer Scrooge sort of thing. Here he's a bank robber, the other one he's like a, you know, capitalist or whatever, and then, um, you know, evil businessman, and then at the end he sort of um, becomes a better person, right? And it's it's one of those stories it's just you know it's nice it, it does feel a little bit long and that's nothing I ever noticed when I was a kid but I think here you know maybe I noticed it but it kind of does help with the trapped portion of the title that it takes a little while um, but I mean overall I I like it even though it's a very simple story and that's probably a lot of the issues people had with it I don't know I didn't get into reading reviews but if there's a christmas movie that i don't know you're looking for that has stars in it is older and maybe you haven't seen this might be it because i feel like nobody ever talks about this one who brings up this movie who lists this movie as a favorite christmas movie of theirs um i enjoyed it a lot as a kid i liked it here um i you know i don't think it had the same punch as it did when i was a kid but you know, I like I don't I don't imagine this will enter our calendar over and over again, but I was very glad to rewatch it again. It didn't like disappoint or anything like that, and it was very fun to see a lot of those gags uh, all over again all these years later. Like ninety four, ninety five, I probably watched this in ninety five. I think it came out in ninety four, so I probably watched it on movie channels in ninety five, and um, yeah, it, all these years later, it was just very fun to see and, and remember those things that, that happened and all, all of the funny things Dana Carvey's doing uh, and then all the good things that they end up doing even after they rob this bank. So it has that very warm, fuzzy, Christmassy feel because of that. So it's, uh, it's perfect for that. It's perfect for that. If you're looking for a Christmas movie that is not well known but has stars in it go for that one anyway have you seen this one maybe you have seen this one i keep saying people haven't seen it but maybe you have if you have seen it what do you think of it i'd love to know let me know in the comments below oh actually before i end this vlog i had a christmas today with my uh dad's side of the family dad and stepmom small you know little christmas um and i just took some footage of it i just wanted to save it for posterity just so that i can always look back on it but f please feel free to watch it at the end here and perhaps i'll see you tomorrow for more pure hangout <laughs> That is so cool. I got a chip boy gift! Okay. Yes. Everybody down for a minute. Hey, well, no, no, one thing. I got it. Hey, something cold. I didn't, I didn't, I just say, I don't need it. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there a picture? Oh, it's a video. Why do you do that? Hi. This is Tyler. I can't even see what he did. What'd you get? Oh my goodness! That is so cute. I think one of those cats oh, is little named foxes. Lily, too. Wow, that is so cute. That is so cute. Yeah, Lily picked that out for you. <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, give me a second, Lily. Like... Let me see, Nelly. Hey, Nelly, hold those up. Oh, awesome unicorn stuff. Thank you. That is very cool. Cool. Uh, Mom and I are going to a basketball game. They, they've got it up in Minnesota. Thank you very and, much. And, uh,
Look at what you got. Wow, that is so neat. <laughs> it's so fluffy. Oh, and Nell, it has a white nose just like you like. <laughs> yeah. You were just telling me you wanted a horsey with a white nose, right? To press the ears, the ears. That's great.